Tonight, the president dined at the White House, not with Republicans, but with Democratic leaders Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer. And the Democrats say they made an agreement with him to work on the two most controversial immigration issues, DACA and the border wall. And a person briefed on what happened in that meeting confirms that to CNN. But Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders is disputing some of their account tonight. So what really happened at this dinner? I want to bring in now CNN senior political analyst David Gergen and senior political commentator David Axelrod. Good evening. Uh, this is going to be a fascinating conversation. Uh, so <laughs> David Axelrod, you first. We have uh, this breaking news tonight after President Trump's uh, dinner with the Democratic leaders. Those leaders put out a statement tonight, and I want to read uh, them as much of it as we can read. He said, we had a very productive meeting at the White House with the president. The discussion focused on DACA. We agreed to enshrine the protections of DACA into law quickly and to work out a package of border security excluding the wall. Excluding the wall. That's acceptable to both sides. And that's uh, Chuck Schumer. So what do you think of this? Do I, mean, I don't know. The president, yeah, yeah. they agree well, to quote enshrine DACA <laughs> outside the well, wall. What, 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 I think, the what, wall? What, what I think is that a lot of people in Washington are going to be walking around with neck braces tomorrow <laughs> from whiplash uh, <laughs> because things have changed so dramatically, uh, so quickly. But look, let's understand something about Donald Trump. Trump. He can be a demagogue, but he's not really an ideologue. There aren't that many things that he seems to have deep convictions about. The thing he has a deep conviction about is his image as a deal maker, his image as a guy who gets stuff done. And for the last seven months, he's gone down that partisan road and he hasn't gotten anything done. And now he apparently has made the decision that by making these bipartisan deals, he can get things done. The real question is, how do the Republicans react to this? And how exactly, how quickly will the Republican leadership uh, put whatever deal was consummated, if indeed there was one, on the floor of the Congress?